guys, it's your Portrait Souls back with another video, and today we are here at the Red Rock server. And today we have another, or this is the part two of our project shop in the Red Rock server. So if you're new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and hit that notification down below for you to get informed for my future videos. Without further ado, let's start this video. So last episode we made the sugarcane farm and also the Pandesal shop in the shopping district which we're gonna check out if we can fly we can we can fly if we can fly in our elytra all right this thing is always making my hard knife <coughs> seriously though it's really making my life hard so basically our house or our base is so near at the shopping district I didn't expect it to be this near but yeah look we're already at the shopping district I don't have to cut or anything so as you can see people are flexing their diamonds in the chat right now how's our pandesal doing oh what there's a shoulder box of pandesal i don't know who made that but i'll take it we got four diamonds i just sold four stacks of pandesal which is nice and who made this box I don't know why, but I'm gonna take those pandas huh? thank you. And my skin turned into, oh, of course. I saw someone over there. Alright, there you go. It's fixed. So, we made a lot of sales. So, we sold some products, alright, in our pandas shop, which is still nice. And as you can see, terraforming is coming very good thanks to Kali and I think Fire is also decorating this. And yeah, look at this. We have a path now going to the spawn of the shopping district. And as you can see here, there's this shop. And I know this is Aero Shop. And Kiwiko hasn't started their business yet. And let's check our other shop. Oh, he has sold one diamond here. Uh, none here. None here. I haven't restocked yet. So yeah, there you go. So sign up for a solo tournament here. So this is a community notice board. This is new. So events and... Announcement, do you see this hill you're standing on? Well, don't you wish we wanted to be nicer or even less deeper? Oh, I see. Kali made this thing. Last episode, we made he made this. We terraformed this. As you can see now, it looks better and nice. It looks cleaner, uh, unlike before. And now we are planning to terraform this part of the, the shopping district, I guess. So, ow, wait up. I'm recording, dude. Okay, I'm recording. Here, get slapped with a bread. Let's sign up for the snowball tournament first. Because, of course, it's gonna be fun. At least it's not building competition or anything. So, we put this here. There you go, trick souls. We are now included in the snowball tournament that is going to happen maybe next week. So, I did mining off cam. And this is all I've got. This black box contain everything I did on mining. And you may be wondering where are the stones. The way I mine in the late game is I just find a cave. You find a cave, you get a lot of iron. Then go deeper, you can find some diamonds. I got lucky and I found a cave which has the white leaven cave stuff. And let's see how much stuff we can get from this. So we got 27 from that. We get 11 from emeralds. 6 ores of emeralds. And for the final one, the diamonds is how much can we get? How much will we get? We get 10, 14 out of 10. We're unlucky. Why? Why are we so unlucky? We can play. I'm gonna smelt this all down and I'm gonna explain you what are we going to do with this stuff. One hour later. So for today's episode, we are gonna make our dye shop. You guys know everyone in the Red Rock well needs concrete. I mean, they pretty much need it for their builds. And to get their specific color, they have to have a loads and tons of colored dyes. So we're gonna solve that problem for them, and at the same time, we're gonna get a lot of diamonds in return. I'm gonna break this down to you guys. So in order to make a dye shop we have to make a dye farm in order to make a dye farm we have to get the specific flowers in order to get those specific flowers we have to get some bone mills so that's about it so first of all we're gonna make the dye farm itself 
So, I'm gonna gather all the resources or the materials needed for this form, and I'll be back. So, we got everything we need for this machine to be built. So, here are the materials. These are exactly, I think for the stones or the building blocks are not exactly, but they are estimated. So, these are the minimal blocks that you need to build this. And the rest are exact. So if you want to build this in your survival world, I'm gonna link the original video of this machine in the description below. So. Finally, we are done with our build and as you can see it function I don't know if it functions really well. It is the moment of truth right here. Let's get our bones and our flower power box. Which are bones, where's our bones, where's our bones? Here, these are bone blocks and then use this stuff. So the plant will be in this area, this part. There you go. And then look at this, right? I'm just gonna use one stack of bone meal. Okay, where is it? There, this part. One stack of bone meal right there. Let's see if this works. So the lever should be right here. Click that. It should be running now. And as you can see, it works. It looks... It works perfectly, guys. So, yeah, look at this. It's already done. It's that fast. And for a stack of... Let me turn this off first. So for a stack of bone meal, we got... Two, almost two stacks here, three stacks here, three stacks here, and two stacks here. So three, six, then six here, eight, and ten. We got ten stacks for just one stack of bone meal. How OP is that? And if we turn this into dies, it's equivalent to one by one, right? So we got like ten stacks of dies for a stack of bone meal. So how cool is that? Now, we are gonna make our shop in the shopping district. Let's go!